Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Fort New Vegas. A lot has changed in four months. I have fixed the noise problems I had with my computer, where the fans and the computer literally sounded like a jet engine taking off. So I haven't been able to record much in the way of anything. But I have fixed it yesterday, so you shouldn't be able to hear it much anymore. I've got a new monitor, uh, which is a 1440p, 150Hz beast of a monitor. And I have my old monitor as my second monitor. My previous second monitor was my TV screen, which I've now retired to my actual TV screen. Anyway, we're back in Fortnite Vegas for episode 39. We left off in episode 38. Uh, the, I've repositioned my microphone, so now it is over here, instead of over here. Uh, you might hear that, you might not. Who knows? I'm going to go do this quest. So, there was a couple of quests that we got by exploring. I think we explored Bitter Springs and everything over here last time. And we ended up somewhere over here near the canyon Red Rock and the Drug Lab and that getting some Tazador heads. But anyway, let's go in the manhole, down to the sewers, and uh, proceed with this quest. Well, one bad thing about the thing brings all the idiots, assholes, and topsiders down here. Welcome back, stranger. Do you have good news for the Thorn? Good work, stranger. The th Here's a compensation for your service. I try Right, well, I haven't got the barter skill. We probably never will have the barter skill till late game, because I don't really care about barter. So a thousand caps to do. I thank you, stranger. The thorn thanks you. This is it, Hunter. I've decided to grant you the opportunity to earn the greatest honor the thorn could ever expect. Death claws are our most precious and our most feared contenders. I want you to be the one to deliver the sacred eggs to me, personally. Quarry Junction is overrun with death claws, but you may stand a better chance at a nest near the Repcon test site. I've come to expect nothing less from you, brave stranger. Right, so I haven't actually played Fallout on my new monitor. And holy moly! 150 FPS is so good. Like, also, I feel like I'm really short. But anyway, 150, you can really see the difference. Like, I, you won't be able to see the difference on YouTube, because it's 60 FPS. Well, is it, is it, I don't know, it's something. I think it's 60 FPS on YouTube, and the compression fucks everything up. But, 104, fuck. It's so good. I also got a 1080 Ti, just, you know, just, uh, just because I can to wave my penis around. Now. Anyway, quests. Right, so the next quest is to go kill some death claws and get the death claw eds near the near Inquiry Junction, which I've never been, because it's scary as shit. And the Dead Wind Cavern, which I've never been, because I've, I've never had a need to, and it's scary as shit, because there's death claws. Anyway, let's do let's do something else. So, we're going to talk to the followers of the Apocalypse. They're in Freeside, I believe. It's also been a while since I've played, you know, Fallout or done anything to do with Fallout, so I'm a bit rusty on my knowledge. But I'm hoping it'll soon come back to me. Also, if you are, if you do get annoyed with the tapping of the keyboard, because my mic, uh, the new position for my microphone is, why are you running away? Who is this? Oh, it's Lady Jane. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? Anyway, the new, the new position of my microphone means it's close to my keyboard. So if you do get a bit bothered by the noise, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will probably change the position of my microphone back to where it was. It's just that my my monitor is is there. So if it microphone was there, I'd have to look behind it to see the monitor. But whatever, I can change it back if anyone gets annoyed by it. So we're going down to follow the Mormon Fort to talk to the followers of the Apocalypse. Uh, I need to talk to someone important. She's the Mohawk person. I remember that. There we go. Welcome. We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? 
Hmm. Well, I suppose we could always use another junior archivist in the library. All right. Tell him we'll accept him as a probationary initiate. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? Oh, I don't really want to say this, but you know. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Uh... Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. Right, well, I didn't want to do that, but, you know, I'm just, I'm here to complete quests. So we can move on to the DLC that I've never played. I really want to play the DLC for this game because I heard it's... Well, the, the DLC for Fallout is really good normally. So, uh, you know, I really want to try it out. Never actually played Fallout 4 DLC. Never completed Fallout 4 still. So, uh, if we complete this game, we'll move on to Fallout 4 eventually. And then we'll have actually good graphics. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Right, what am I doing? I'm doing some other quest. I'm going to the Red Rock Drug Lab to talk to this guy about this poetry. What a load of crap. I really don't like this place. It's very, uh, cramped. Ah, oh, yes, that's also we need to do to go to Bitter Springs to find out that sniper who's been sniping people. I have a very itchy arm. Wait, can we go up this way or not? Well, we can always abuse the physics system in Fallout anywhere we go. Indulgent. What rhymes with indulgent? You fall... What? We did? Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm out of this crummy camp. Dun dun dun. He's done. Right, moving on to Bitter Springs, I think. Either that, or bring... Oh, okay, we can go do that, I think. No, I wanna, I wanna do, I'll find this attack person. Doing these attacks. Let's do the bit of springs. Because there's actually a map marker on the map. So we'll just go to that map marker and see what happens. I haven't actually... My, my knowledge of Fallout uh, it's pretty much hits the peak at Fallout 3. And then we get to Fallout New Vegas and I, it lowers a bit, so I have less knowledge. And I've done less things in Fortnite Vegas. Uh, and then Fallout 4 is just nothing. No knowledge of Fallout 4. I've played a bit. <laughs> so there's a bit of a cave over there. I reckon they, they go to the, just the top of it. Or they can go through the back of that cave. Uh, We've got Bloodborne Cave. See if you can get there from there. Oh, shit. Oh, I remember this cave. Oh, fuck. Alright, we got to use our firing skills because we a bit rusty but that was fairly easy oh, hold on a second i think i remember something here oh yes the 20 20 200 000 carry limit yes very good i remember what i did now there's something up here let's quit save as i've uh, forgotten to do it's one of them fire decos again oh, actually really easy I just shot my dog in the face. A bit of frame drops. There shouldn't really be a frame drop from the 1080 Ti, but you know, Fallout wasn't designed for a 1080 Ti. I yes, I I think my shooting. My shooting skill has increased since I uh, got this 150. Oh, it really, it does, it feels... Oh, okay, I say that and I miss. Yeah, I will say, it does, feels a lot better. It does feel a lot better. I haven't actually played any FPS games as well. 
So uh, if you can really notice in an FPS game. I don't know, do you call this an FPS or do you call this an RPG? I call I I'd call it an RPG to be honest. But you definitely call Fallout 4 an, uh, an FPS. How are we bloody going? Uh, Great Khan Supply Cave. Oh, is it Great Khan's that's shooting them? I looked very out of place. Oh, hello, what's that? That can't be a fin. That honestly can't be a fin. It's gonna be a fin, isn't it? Oh my god, it looks like a graphical glitch. <laughs> are, they, are they my friends or what? Who's Oscar Velasco? Oh shit, that might be bad. Reload! Yeah, let's 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 not do that. Let's uh, just abandon all oh, hello. Let's uh, let's just go back. <laughs> let's do another quest. Let's come back here. I think we might have found out who's shooting the shit out of the uh, the, the, the the village down there, but something I've forgotten from uh, from the past it might seem. Where are we going now? We're going to do Okay, so we decided to do the uh, bit of spins in Family Blues. I've just gone back to my pad up there, grabbed some doctor's bags, and we're here at the Crimson Caravan Company to see about getting some books for her or for the, you know, bit of spins. Oh shit, someone's running at me. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. You know, it's been a while since I've played this. <laughs> you could probably tell. But holy shit, I completely forgot about this guy. Do I talk to... Oh, I talk to Blake. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Maybe. What do you want to know? Need anything else? Can do. What am I buying? I, what the fuck am I buying? Is it a miss? Uh, hunting rifle extended mag. <gasps> hunting shotgun long tube. Oh my god. Stress and the modern refugee. I'll take that. Tiny, tiny babies. All you need to know about the I'll take that as well. Thank you. Goodbye. We'll just also. Fucking 25k caps. <laughs> of course. I remember this character now. It was all coming back to me. A good ranger's a dead ranger. Okay. This, uh, this episode might be a bit longer than usual. Because we're getting back into the swing of things. And it's been a long hiatus, so I want to wanna provide you with as much video content as possible. Yeah? What is it? Thank you. This will keep us well stocked for a good long while. Both of them? Wow, that's very resourceful. Thank you. I think that should just about cover us. I really don't know how to thank you. Your bringing me these supplies saved a lot of people. Well, still, thanks again. I mean, I really don't care about getting meds, and I don't care about getting anything else, because I'm pretty much rich as fuck. So, uh, who cares? <laughs> What's another quest? Let's do another quest while we're here. We've done that. Well, we don't haven't done it, but we know we're not going up there because we get vilified by the great cans. We got not so much. Uh, yeah. 
Sergeant Reyes. I can't fucking remember this. I can't remember this mission. Oh, the idiot wearing sunglasses. I remember that. Let's do that. Do the idiot wearing sunglasses one. Sorry, this uh, this you know this uh, video hasn't had much format, but there hasn't been much direction in this video because we're just getting our bearings again. But don't worry, the next the next video you'll be getting a lot more a uh, lot more direction of what we're doing. In this one, I have literally no idea what I'm doing or where to go. I've forgotten everything. I know I'm trying to find the idiot wearing sunglasses, and the thing is that up here, because there's a lab and there's two of them. One of them's kind of smart, because he's in a scientist uniform, the other one's in a scientist uniform, but he's a fucking pleb. I also feel like I run faster. Holy moly, health and safety. Where the flaming fuck? What the fuck? Did I go the wrong way? Was he not up here? Was he at the bottom actually? Fuck you, Beryl. I'll grab a beer on the way. So I feel like I'm Speedy Gonzalez letting it through this military complex. It's not even a military complex. I'm fucked that up as well. It's a power station. There we go, the idiot wearing sunglasses. Who the hell are you? They bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? Ah, shit. Shit, man. I need this. Gotta pay the bills. And I'm addicted to a lot of different kinds of chems. I mean a lot. Yeah, I can tell. Aw, oh, man. How am I supposed to buy chems now? Fine, here. Hey, I might actually have 25k now, not 24,999. What else? I'm in charge. This whole operation depends on me. No fantastic, no power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats, and it feels so good. Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. But the mirrors outside like aren't aimed right. So we're running at 1% efficiency, and I guess that just isn't good enough for some assholes. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower. And that place has some crazy pre-war security system that the dumb shit NCR set off when they took over. Killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. They want me to make an omelette, but I can't break any of their eggs. Know what I'm saying? There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. I tried fooling with them, but didn't get very far. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower, then do the rest from up there. I'm guessing, but it sounds good, right? Hey, you're not thinking about going up there, are you? Well, hey, if you find yourself up at the mainframe, do yourself a favor and make sure you send the power to the right place. It needs to go to the Strip and McCarran. Because I get paid, that's why, per kilowatt hour, whatever the hell that is. That's where the NCR wants the power, so that's where I want it. But you know, you do that, maybe I put in a good word for you with them. Fantastic's little helper, there's a reputation you can hang your hat on. Here, you want this. It's the password to one of the terminals outside. I found it written on one of the stalls in the bathroom. Yeah, I, I don't think that's the password, for fuck's sake, but you know. Hey, man. It's probably like someone's phone number. I mean, that's that's all I find written in the bathrooms oh. here. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? I see. Then you must have some special business here for them to have let you through. Interesting. Forgive me for prying, but I'm curious. Are you with a particular group? If I said Legion... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, ho, ho, I like this option. You're right, I'm sorry. That imbecile in the next room has me on edge. I used to be more fun. I'm still passionate about my work, though. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I'm in the followers of the apocalypse. How about you? Then for everyone's sake, I hope you serve a worthy master. Are you a maker of war or peace? Uh, uh, I try not to get involved. Ah, but there's no avoiding it. You can only outrun the choice for so long. Take now, for instance. You're inside a facility with lost technology, some of it very dangerous. Unless you turn and leave right now, you'll be very much involved in the lives of people you've never seen or met. I don't entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. Yes. And the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. A weapon based upon it would be catastrophic, no matter who claimed it. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. They weren't here for me to ask, but I doubt they were here for electricity. When the NCR first came here, it was under Brotherhood control. They usually steered clear of one another, but something here changed their minds. The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapons. It's likely they were trying to reclaim Archimedes when the NCR arrived. I was sent here when we saw that the NCR had taken it. We have no record of the facility, but its original builders were cause for concern. I'm to determine the threat level of this place and do everything in my power to prevent the revival of any dangerous pre-war technology. The NCR let me stay because they're desperate for answers about this place, but I've kept them in the dark. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. If you're the one to restore output, then you can route the power where you choose, and they'll never be the wiser. I can't get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. You'll need it. So that's how you get the other password? Oh, the NCR has their own designs for it, no doubt, but resist the urge to send it only to the thriving communities. The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. I'm a man of letters. I'd be torn to pieces by the security system they have in that tower. I'd never reach the mainframe. But eventually, the NCR will. Or if not them, Caesar's Legion. They will use this place for war. Because the possibility exists, you might do anything else. You're the only choice I have. Not yet. By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. He spent months working at one console trying to get the solar reflectors to track the sun. What he doesn't know is that the only thing the console controls is the plant's intercom system. I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest console had to be the most important. Still, it's only a matter of time. He is a pleb. Good. Not this guy, the other guy. But anyway, we got to go outside and reroute some sensor shit. Yeah, I'm telling you this video is going to be longer one than usual. There's a frag mine in there. How do I get in? Oh, it's going this way. Hey. Oh, wouldn't it be sick if one of these, if you disarmed it, it just triggered the tripwire? Fuck, that would have been amazing. What does the tripwire actually do? Ah, oh, it's the shotgun. Okay. Ow, my fucking arm. Holy shit. I fucking picked it up, though. Oh, now we need those doctor's beds. Where the fuck? Where is the stim pack? Do I have it bound to a number? What the fuck number is it? <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking... It's, can't you do it on here? Oh, you can. There you go. I only have six stim packs. Wow. Yeah, for a rich... For which bastard? That's kind of a not enough.
death and dismemberment waivers. Is that a thing? In real life, you do get a death and dismemberment waiver from your employer. Fuck. <laughs> Hello. Right, that's one done. Let's move on to the other side and we'll do the other one. That was healing powder I was using. Oh, is that because I haven't any stim pads? Uh, I, see what I, I see what I did there. Why are there enemies? What the fuck? I thought the NCR secured this. What kind of duds are they? Why are the ends? Why are the NCR guard duds in here? I do not understand. Why? Why am I killing them? Hmm. This is that bloody mine that's gonna blow up in the end. Right, I think I might end the video here. Only a slightly longer video for today. But however, uh, hold on, I'll check. Yeah, a very long video for today. Anyway, thanks uh, for watching episode 39 of my uh, Fortnite Raiders series. Hope to see you again in this episode. Uh, we're back, bitches, and we're going to play all the way to the end of the game hopefully and do all the DLCs and do get all the guns and do all the mysteries involved in this game I'm surprised the NCR don't hate me now uh, one quick note for the next video when we activate this do you in the comment section below do we get do we go for weapon or do we go for the nice option which is distribute the power to everyone Tell me in the comment section below. I have a, I have a feeling I know which answer is going to be the one that everyone gives. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.